G'day there, Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And I'm here today at Snack on the last day with Tim from ZJ Benny. Hey Tim. Hi everybody, <laughs> Thank you. nice to meet you. Tim, I've been a big fan of ZJ Benny for a long time. I, I, my background is I'm an installer and I've installed a lot of your products. You are the number one switch in Australia. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. But you do much more than just a, a small DC switch. We're going to look at all the products. Yeah, right. Uh, in fact, uh, we are the top one DC switch brand in Australia. So, uh, yeah. But currently, we are showcasing uh, more solutions according to different applications. Like this. What's this here? Uh, we can see the EV charger here. It's uh, part of the whole uh, solution about uh, solar panel and uh, inverter with the battery storage system and uh, as a part of the system the EV charger can work with uh, solar PV and uh, can offer the uh, smart charging for uh, off-peak off time charging at the lower energy price. So what we've got here is a smart charger Yes. What makes it smart? Smart means you can do the sexual charging and uh, you can set the charging time for uh, off-peak time at a lower energy price. So that's all about the smart charging. And uh, it's uh, all about uh, OCPP 1.6. Ah. And uh, that's why you can make all the details and the data by the cloud. And you can see everything in the app and you can control by a uh, remote and uh, you can share all the uh, uh, technology things and the smart things by the EV charger. So Tim, I'm pretty excited about this because actually I'm putting one of these on the side of my house mm -hmm. from, from ZJ Benny yeah. and uh, we'll have uh, OCPP control uh, through, through the app be able to set charging. So yes. I'm very excited and it's also a very beautiful looking product. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we designed and uh, we uh, products and developed by ourselves. Yes. Yes, it looks gorgeous. And uh, it's uh, with the, the better things is that you, in the in your future, you might can uh, install the EV charger in the public and you can share the energy price uh, for operating once the EV charger can do the OCPP things. So you can just uh, install a EV charger in public area, you can just uh, uh, have a revenge and uh, and a money back by uh, install an EV charger for uh, anybody can use it and pay for the charging. Yes, I'm yes. familiar with that. Once you have OCPP, then you can have people integrate payment services. Yes, that's and right. Uh, yes, yeah. as, as a personal operator. Yes, yes, that's uh, easy for everyone. You just uh, ins uh, install the EV charger at the arrow. You just uh, have to have the operating. Now I saw you have something for the probably more for the US market on the other side of the wall here. Let's go and look at that. Yeah. So Tim, what what are we looking at here? We bring here a new solution for the solar rooftops protecting. It's, we call it a rubbish shutdown system. That means the device can shut down the panel's DC power at a very short time and rapidly. Uh, you can see here we have a rubbish shutdown device at the panel level. Each device connects with two panels and uh, you can control the device by the uh, emer emergency bottle switch here. So once you push the bottle, that means you cut out the AC power. Once the AC power is off, the DC power off at the same time. So you don't need to have micro inverters for rapid shutdown. You can use string inverters with the ZJ Benny rapid shutdown solution. Exactly. You use the string inverter. I think that's the most popular solutions in Australia. Any string inverter in Australia any brands can work with the shutdown device. So uh, the system also offer another automatic shutdown function. Like you, once the device 
detect the high temperature up to 85 degree. Like a fire? 85 degree. So you might have a fire in the house and yes. it automatically shuts down? Yes. Uh, it's uh, protecting the system avoid fire. Yes, yes. I understand. Yeah. I hadn't... I... Well, that's really interesting, Tim. I hadn't thought about rapid shutdown as part of a fire protection system that is automatic. Yes. It's not just pressing the button, but there's high temperature on the roof. Yes, it's... Uh, photo switch is only one of the shutdown ways. So we are... The system also offer, uh, just like I mentioned, it's uh, according to the high temperature detection. And uh, also, uh, there, there are another automatic things is that the rubbish shutdown device just shut down the system once any arc fault happens in the system. So basically, it's for bring the se uh, higher safe level for the solar rooftops in Australia. As we know, there are many fail cases on the rooftop, especially for the solar rooftops. So I think the so solution here a uh, uh, low shutdown device can bring the Australian solar to a higher level. I, I agree with you because really microinverters are a very small part of the Australian market mm -hmm. and the main selling point is the rapid shutdown. But you add rapid shutdown to any string inverter. Any now. string inverter. Right. Yes. And what's this box down here? Ah, the box is a uh, different communication for uh, between the rapid shutdown device. The rubbish shutdown device just uh, connect the solar panels cable and uh, transfer the power to the switching inverter. And uh, you don't need to wire any cable or any wires for communication. So power line communication on the DC bus, on the on DC, the DC cable. cable. Yes. yes. We call it power line communication. So you connect the positive or negative cable, go through this box, that's you finishing the communication wiring. Right, so this is the communication hub. Yes. Yes. With the screen here to show each device uh, about the operating, how the device is working, what's the voltage and the current, and uh, how the device is working or not. So it's actually a diagnostic device as well? Yes. Oh, wow. And, uh, show on the screen and the inlay app. That's amazing. Yes. Uh, much more than I expected. We are talking about more about the smart solution yes. and the higher level protecting solutions. You can see we bring the solar industry with higher level protecting. Yes, very innovative, not yeah. just switches. Not just <laughs> switch now, yeah, but uh, also smart and uh, safer solutions. Let's go and check out some of the switches over here. <laughs> so, Tim, one of the challenges has been, uh, in, certainly in, in Australia, is the voltage of solar panels go up yeah. and, and the string voltages go up. Yeah. So we now have 1,000 volts on domestic in Australia and 1,500 volts on commercial. So are these switches for higher voltage applications? Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, you're right. And uh, the panel's power and the current voltage always go higher. That's been a challenge for solar DC side protecting. So our switch also follow the trend. So we have uh, 1500 volts up to 63 amperes switch. And uh, the better thing is that the switch now can do automatic. As you know, the 17 percent of the file uh, reasons are from the arc board. So you need the switch can shut down the DC cable once there are any arc fault happens. Are you telling me these are arc fault detection? Arc fault wow. protection and by automatic shut, shut off the DC cable, the higher voltage. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. DC arc fault detection at the switch. Yeah, automatic. Wow. Yeah. So you've got four pole, six pole, eight pole, 10 pole, 
And that means this can do very high voltage. Very high voltage for the commercial. So yeah. uh, once you are install the solar power on your commercial rooftop, definitely you need higher safety protecting. You don't want to lose anything, don't want to happen any fires. So the DC switch ensure a safe for your solutions. Now with arc fault detection, um, you said it's automatic so it switches off. Yeah. Is there any way of knowing that it's switched off? Uh, you can have the information from the inverter app. Okay. Yeah. So the inverter app tells yeah, you. Yeah. So as you know, currently I installed the DC switch yes. beside the inverter with the enclosure. Yes. Or you can choose the DC switch building the inverter. Yes. Yeah. I'm very excited to hear this. This is yes. an amazing development. In fact, uh, the top one inverter brand we know is Sangro in worldwide. They are using our DC switch for higher automatic and uh, safer labor. Okay, and now I, I know on the other side of the wall you've got some very big switches. Let's go and check them out. Okay. Uh. Okay, tell so me about the, these, Tim. Yeah. So the energy storage system is more popular currently, and uh, you can see we have a uh, the DC switch at higher current up to 800 amperes wow. to work with the big system of the energy storage. So these are 250 amp hour, 400 and 800 amp hour switches? Yes. The switch in series supports the 250 amperes in two pole and 400 amperes in two pole. 800 Amperes in two bar as well. And what sort of current rating are these switches? What, how, what, how many amperes can. So they can switch 800 amps? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, sorry. Yes. So, dumb question. Two, two, <laughs> pole, two poles for one string. Yep. Yeah. So the maximum current up to 800. Any system, including the uh, DC storage uh, strings, I mean, for the solar DC cable, any DC strings can work with this switch. Cool. Because the bigger system and the solar system is bigger and bigger. And uh, once you are uh, install the solar grounds and uh, with the container things, uh, energy storage, you need the DC switch at higher current. Yes, I can imagine these used in solar farms uh, and, and also maybe battery systems, big battery systems yeah, as well? Yeah, big battery systems, yeah. definitely. So what voltage rating uh, are these? Voltage up to 1500 volts. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so the full range of DC voltages. Yes. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Over here we have um, what looks like uh, string systems here. So for a smaller with string overcurrent protection. Yeah, the string box here is yes. for small uh, uh, residential and commercial systems. You can see we have a fuse here, we have a surge protector here to over current and over voltage protection. And we uh, build in the switch as well for the on and off control. So basically it's for the residential and the small commercial systems. Right, so this yeah. is fully built, this including the enclosure, Yeah. ready to go. Yes, ready to go with pre-wild solution. Yes. And uh, you can see we can customize with different components inside yes. for different applicator. I have one of your uh, string combiners, which is about as big as this metal box. Ah, yeah. Uh, but has many, uh, many fuses and uh, over voltage protection as well. It's yes. very good Yes. for a solar farm. Yeah, and uh, you, know, you know what? A solar farm is capacity is bigger and bigger in Australia. We can see many solar farms in Australia. And uh, so I think you can see many box and at big size in Australia in the solar farm system. And so this is a combiner box. It's the combiner box yes. for art fork protection and the shutdown uh, function. Can we open it? Is it yeah. In, yeah. Oh, wow. Check that out. Whoa. 
<laughs> we are offering 1,000 volts yes. and 1,500 volts solutions. Yes. Wow. And you can see here it's uh, 1,500 volts combiner box. You know what? It's for arc fault protection. Really as well? Yes. Arc fault protection. Which device is the arc fault protection? In fact, uh, the monitor right here yes. to detect uh, each string yes. of the uh, solar panels. So once the device here detects any arc fault, the combiner box will shut down the DC cycle by the contact here. So you can see these two contactors are automatic shut off the DC circle. Right. Yeah. Wow. So it's really, really a, a big advance in safety for solar farms yes. to have arc fault detection and shutdown. Yes. At the field, at the combiner box. And everything is by automatic. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I'm very impressed. That's why we are using contact here to replace the switch on and off. And this will do 16 strings, this S one? 16 st strings. You build them custom to the requirement, I imagine? Current uh, up to 24 strings. Up to 24 Maximum. strings. Maximum, yes. Okay. Wow, that's great. Okay, I think we've got one more to look at, which is, uh, so Tim, as you know, uh, ZJ Benny is very popular, number one in Australia. Yeah. And these are the products that we see so much of in Australia, uh, which are the DC switches. DC switches. This is isolator switch. This is isolator switch. Yes. Yeah. So I think you guys are familiar with these uh, products. Very familiar. Yeah. What what you have helped a lot with is understanding the ratings of them with the label on the side. Yeah. Because I, I have to teach people to understand how to select the right product mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. current and voltage. Eh? But your label makes it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, the installers want to the items for easy wiring and the easy installations. Yes, because our Australian standards has some special requirements for uh, for the trip current, so short term overload. And, yeah, yeah, and you have all those values already on your label. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, for everyone. It's easy to understand. Many products that I've seen are for a global market and ignore our Australian requirements, mm -hmm. but yours already comply with them. Yeah, thank so you. It's, it's very yes. good. And uh, we can see many different solutions here yes. with the circuit breaker. It's, you can take it for overcurrent protection. Yes. Yes, so and the bigger... I haven't seen black ones before. Are they different? Oh, um, black ones is for... Uh, in fact, we Customize the white one for our clients so in just China. Color. It's yeah, it's just the color, just but the, color. the same thing, yeah. the same function, the same quality. Because in the US, it's very common to have black switches. So yeah, 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 definitely. So it's just a local variation. Yes, I, I think you know the market very well. <laughs> yes, and the black one is prefer for some clients. Yes, but uh, some of them they just prefer the white one. So different markets, I think different requirements. And, and lastly, we've got the surge protection devices here, mm -hmm. which are very important for, fi for field mounted systems where you have cables running long distances underground. Yeah. And you can put this at the field, so at the combiner box. Yes. So the surge protector supports the over voltage protector. Yes. We are offering 1,000 and 1,500 volts solutions here and the DC and the AC both. So you can see, normally we are talking about type two protector in the market, but uh, now we are, can offer type one and type two combined. Oh really? Yeah. So type two, okay. Type one and the type two. Yep. And lastly down here, these are high current circuit breakers, MCCB as we call them in, yes. in Australia? We call it uh, MCCB. Yeah. It's mostly applicated in the home uh, residential energy storage system. Yes. Large. For the battery. Yes. yes. And with the enclosure, so you can install a switch, uh, you can install the MCCB in the battery uh, on the wall. So one of the big advantages of this product down here is that it already has the enclosure and it's IP65. IP65. So 
in Australia we require minimum IP twi uh, tw 21, yeah, 23 yeah. Indoors, 23. indoors and 54 outdoors, I, mm -hmm. think, I think 54. Okay. So you go beyond that, it's 65, so you can spray it with water. Yes, always. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is great, you've provided a solution ready to go in an enclosure that's lockable as well. Lockable cover. Yeah. And uh, you can open the cover to make the switch and on and off or you, once the system uh, find the overcurrent things, it just the automatic do the switch off. Yes. But you can easily open the cover to make it on. Great. Well, uh, Tim, thanks very much for showing me around and a big thanks to ZJ Benny for looking after Australia. Yeah. You have been a wonderful company to work with and providing products that solve our problems. Yes. Really so appreciate we always it. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we know many friends in Australia enjoying the uh, solar PV power. So that's why we bring safety. Yeah. Very and, good. And uh, thank you all, uh, thank you everyone. And, and uh, it's a big show here and it's uh, the last day. So <laughs> see you next year. See ya.